Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is for the week of March 5th through 11th. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. And if there is anything that you need me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know in the comments. This is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I'm providing, okay? Remember that the most important part of any tarot reading is you, and here is the Queen of Swords. Let's put that into some context, all right? We're going to use our Dove and Serpent spread. I already have some good, good energies coming out today. A lot of air energy. Pretty balanced, some earth, some fire, some major arcana. Let's get, move those over. All right, so we're going to do our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. And we're not gonna look at this until the very end of the reading, so you do have to stick around. And we're gonna put that right there. And again, we're not gonna look at it. So we're gonna see later how that'll tie everything together and uh, give us the confirmation that we need at the end, okay? So, Aquarius. Um, there is a, an issue with how you've been communicating with people lately, okay? Um, this, this queen of swords here, I believe, is representing some of your energy. I think that we've been maybe getting a little bit too, um, maybe a little bit too emotional in our, in our communications, okay? I think that we're maybe, we're feeling, we're feeling kind of offended by something. Um, I think that there's been something going on with you that you seem to be taking very personally, even though it doesn't seem... See, I, I, I don't know how to express this because uh, if you're taking it personally, that means it's personal, okay? So uh, I kind of don't like it when people say, oh, you know, don't take it personally. But if we are, then we are, right? There's no kind of denying that. There's no invalidating that. If I feel it in a personal way, whether you intended it to be personal or not, it's personal, right? So I think there's something going on that you are taking personally. But I think the other person, um, which we don't know who that is, honestly, this is the only court card that we have, okay? Whatever the situation is, I don't think it's intended to be personal. I don't think it's intended to um, to offend you, but uh, it it is. It is offending you, okay? Um, I think you're the kind of person that is a, you're a thinker, but you're a feeler, you know? Um, I think that you, you try to evaluate people, evaluate a situation based on how you kind of feel about them, almost an intuitive kind of thing, right? But it's not, um, it's not the same kind of intuition that we might get with, say, a priestess card. Uh, this is more of a um, an intentional uh, analysis of your feelings, right? Because this is this is water, but it's air, so it's just like you're trying to kind of bubble through the water and uh, see what you can stir up, you know. So this is real, real uh, exploration of your values, exploration of your feelings about anything, everything. Right? I think that you don't really make any decisions or you don't really take any actions until you check in with self, until you check in with your feelings and you get a sense of, um, okay, just beyond all of my mental activity and my, my reasoning and my intellect and stuff, how do I feel about this? You know, I think that's a question that you maybe ask yourself a lot is, okay, how do I feel about this? And I think that's what you use to make uh, decisions in your life and before you take actions, okay? I think in the recent past, um, we got this nine of cups here. I think that there is something related to um, some kind of a party, some kind of a get together or gathering of people. Um, I feel like you're someone who, you enjoy being around other people. I think you're a popular person. But I think you were in some sort of a, a gathering. Maybe this was over the holidays. Maybe this is um, some kind of a birthday thing, or I don't know. But um, there was a gathering of people. I feel like everybody's having a good time. But something happened. Uh, it was 
is some kind of a discussion or a conversation that you had or, or uh, an encounter with someone. There was an exchange with someone and it really left you feeling kind of um, almost unsure about how you feel. But I think you're starting to understand that you got your feelings hurt here. Okay, I'm seeing like a, I'm seeing a gathering of people. Um, I'm seeing a, a gathering of people for some kind of a celebration. I see everybody smiling, there's music, um, but you're having a good time until you aren't, right? You're having a good time until you aren't. So I don't know if there, there was something that spoiled that good time for you, you know? Something that now is still on your mind. You may be one of these people, as I kind of am too, that when something like this happens, we almost don't know how to respond in the moment. You know, it's almost like we have to take it home with us and mull it over a little bit before we really get an idea of how we felt about it. And then it could be days later where we're like, damn, I didn't like that very much. That didn't feel too good, you know? Especially with the air energy that we see. It's kind of, we have this, if you look at the overhead, we have the water in the past. We move into this queen of swords, which is the water energy still moving into this air energy. You know? So it's like this situation that happened, this, we, we got our feelings hurt somewhere. And we're just now, as that feeling kind of comes and then it, the tide goes out from that water, you know, now we're starting to think about it and realize and kind of discuss it with ourselves, evaluate it with ourselves, you know, move from water into air, okay? And I do think that in this, this coming week, you're, you're really kind of going to decide whether or not you're going to have it out with this person, whether you're going to bring it up, you know? It's kind of this debate, I think, going on with you right now. Uh, you know, you're, you're examining how you feel. You're checking in with self and touching base and be like, okay, how did I, what, what really happened there? How do I feel about that? And I think that you are kind of on the fence about confronting the person, you know? Is this something that you should just forgive and let go of, you know? Um, I think that you, you have a hard time letting things go especially when there's this water slash air combination. It's um, maybe uh, intellectually you kind of think, yeah, I should probably just let this go. Um, it's probably not the, uh, you know, the biggest deal. Um, it's probably not so serious that, you know, it, it's worth the trouble that it may cause by, by bringing it up, having the conversation and, and kind of making it an issue. But I feel like if you don't, it's kind of going to stick with you and it's going to just kind of eat at you, you know? So I feel like you, you have this pending decision now and even above everything, we see this 10 of swords. This is you, I think you know that it's going to, it's going to bug you if you don't say something, you know? It could be something qu quite minor. Somebody uh, left a drink on your coffee table and it, it made a mark, you know? Uh, just something little. Um, you know, someone didn't put the toilet seat down or they, or just something. It's not a huge deal. It could be something that someone said to you in, in passing really. And you took it very personally. It really hit deep with you, even though they may not even really realize what they had said, you know? So this is a mind that kind of will, will run away with a feeling and really take it to its extreme. And I think that you could get carried away in your head uh, going through, well, what did this person mean? Why did they do that? Um, you know, am I, do I appear to be too passive or too weak by not saying something, not speaking up? Uh, is it too late to speak up now? There's a lot of things this Ten of Swords could be talking about. But I think most of this now is so far removed from what actually happened because I think this was generally a good time. I think 99% of this evening or afternoon or Sunday morning was a very nice time, but there's that one thing that happened that you're just like, can't let go of that, can't get over that, okay? So I think the immediate future here at nine of discs, what do you really have to gain practically from, from having this discussion, bringing this up, making this an issue? Um, what is the real benefit going to be to that? Is there something, are you going to ask them to 
you know, replace the coffee table. It's starting to feel like an, another episode of Seinfeld. I, I don't know why that is. Um, but I think that there's a, uh, you need to consider the practical side of this. You know, what do you have to gain even energetically or emotionally or, you know, spiritually um, by bringing this up? Is there some, is there some benefit to this? Is it something that you're working on in your personal life, in your emotional life, um, by, by speaking up when you feel offended or when you're, you're feeling some kind of way, um, you know, are you really, are you making progress in your own spiritual path by confronting these feelings and by expressing them, you know, to the person that they, that they involve, you know, and not in an aggressive way, not in a, uh, a mean or, you know, violent way or anything. We don't see really any fire in this reading at all, except maybe this art or temperance card. This is a fiery card ruled by Sagittarius. We'll get to that in a moment. I think um, that by speaking up about this, you are learning now how to handle this water-air mixture in you, right? The water and the air together makes bubbles. It makes just a lot of pressure and gas and kind of pain and like bloating, right? So you're learning how to handle this and how to how to deal with this so that it doesn't maybe come out later in a very negative way so you don't hold on to it and then it just eats away at you. You know, it's about um, handling it in the right way, expressing it in the right way by just saying, look, this is what happened. This is how I feel. You're not accusing anyone of anything. Um, you're not blaming anyone or anything like that. You're just saying, look, this is how I feel. This is what I perceived and this is how I feel about it. And I think just doing that is this kind of gentle progress, right? It's not fiery. It's not forceful. This is not air. This is not fire. This is a, a practical way of kind of discharging this water, air energy. Okay. So you have to think of, of the practical way that you're going to do that. Now, beneath the surface, we do have this art or temperance card. This is about you finding this kind of balance and this blend. And maybe in the past, you were someone who would either do one of two things. You would either let this thing eat away at you until you were miserable. Or on the other hand, you would lash out in a very aggressive way and express your feelings and uh, lay blame on someone and really be you know, forceful about it. Too much fire, right? Too much water or too much fire. So we blend these two together and we get more of this kind of uh, air and water mixture that we have now. Okay. So you're trying to really temper your responses and temper the way your feelings prompt you to action. Okay. So I think this is a very, very important card. I think this is a, this is a good deal here. Um, I don't know if the person involved here is a Sagittarius sign. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I'm getting an S name somewhere here too. Maybe uh, this, it involves someone with uh, the first initial of S. Um, that's not a very strong feeling because I feel like this is more representing um, the work that you're trying to do kind of beneath the surface, right? Like what's going on internally, what the kind of underlying motivation for all of the rest of this energy is. Why are we even here having this tarot reading? I think it's because you're working on this art or temperance kind of energy for yourself, you know, learning how to uh, control and direct your, um, these emotional responses, you know, let's move over to the path of the serpent now, because we see this hanged man energy. And this, in your general energy right here at the beginning, this is showing me what you're kind of used to doing or what you might be even leaning into now. This is pure water. This is you really sinking down into this. And this is almost like you uh, swallowing your, your emotions, biting your tongue, uh, sacrificing your growth to just kind of just sit with this yourself, you know, not express it. And I think it's not really a, a good blend that we see here with this art or temperance card. This is kind of what, this is what the, um, the kind of normal MO for you is, you know, I think that you have been learning to temper your responses. Cause I think at one point you did, you would just kind of lash out. You would just immediately express it in like a negative way. 
So I think in order to counterbalance that, you are going into the opposite extreme by not saying anything, by sitting with it, ruminating on it, uh, biting your tongue, swallowing that emotion. And then we're in this really kind of uh, treacherous water here with the hanged man. This is a real kind of suffering. This is like you just feeling like it's better to not express this and just keep it down as far down as it'll go. Um, but that I think is going to eat away at you. And like we see with, uh, you know, with water over time, it will erode even the, the densest minerals, you know. Uh, even the most fortified structures uh, are, are no match for a, a good surge of water, you know. So I feel like we shouldn't go into this hanged man mode, which is you just really feeling like you've got to suffer with it, that you're just, you're sparing everybody the burden and you're just going to, you're just going to eat it, you know, you're just going to swallow it. I don't think that's the way to go. Um, speaking of solid structures, the fortified structure of this four can be and will be eroded by the inundation of this water. Okay, this is the stability of your home life. This is the stability of your relationships, friendships, romantic partnerships, whatever, your work relate. Maybe this is all happening at work. Maybe it was a work party or something, you know. Um, but this is the safety, security, stability. This is your health and wealth, your fitness and your finances. The stability and structure that you have will be kind of knocked to pieces by the inundation. All of this water, it's, it's no match. Uh, this fortress is no match for that water. Okay. So we have to really be, um, be aware of how our action or our inaction, because even swallowing this stuff, that's still a decision. That's still an action that you're taking, you know? Uh, we have to be aware of how that is affecting us. And are we focused on progress and how this is going to be, be good for us and lead to better things and how it is, you know, moving forward and not moving backwards, you know? Because we do have to think of, of our stability. Not only is this your, your, the stability of your environment, but this is your mental, emotional, physical stability as well, okay? Which I think is something that is, you, you've worked hard to earn. So we don't want to put that in any kind of jeopardy. Now, the next card we see is this uh, priestess energy. We've talked about this a little bit at the beginning with this intuition. I think that you are, um, you are someone who wants to have a strong connection with the divine. You know, you want to feel like you are um, a spiritual being, that you are making progress. I think you kind of... I f it's a little bit strange. I feel like you are a spiritual being. I think we all are. I think you're doing the work with this, especially with this art or temperance card, but I almost feel like you, you don't trust it or you don't believe it. Right? It's almost like you feel like an imposter kind of thing. This is in the position of your fears, worries, and concerns. Um, and I, I can relate to this feeling too. It's like we're doing, we're doing the work, but we feel like we're not you know, we're not making progress, we're not making connections, we're not having those spiritual experiences, we're not making the, um, having the communication, the dialogue, the enlightenment, that we're not making spiritual progress. I don't feel holy, I don't feel like a spiritual being, you know. And I think, again, that feeling, a lot of feelings, a lot of trying to sort out how we feel, which is a very useful skill, for sure. Uh, but I think, Part of the the energy here, especially with the kind of the discs that we see, right? These pentacles. It's not so much about trying to rationalize or justify or analyze our feelings, but to feel them and utilize them in a positive, kind of growth-oriented, constructive way, right? The more we get into our intellect and into our head, well, there's no feeling there. You know, it's it's all intellectual. It's all air. So we get too much into the air energy, and we, we aren't going to feel these things, these spiritual experiences. Um, because I think we're trying to kind of swallow our emotions so much and just stay in our rational mind where, yeah, we're not going to feel anything. We're not going to feel joy. We're not going to feel sorrow. We're not going to feel that we, you know, we've been hurt or offended or anything. Um, but that watery energy is still there. And I think, like I said before, that inundation does have the power to destroy the stability that we've created. 
So with this card, it's a little bit interesting because I feel like you are connected. You know, I feel like you're doing the work, but you're just, you don't feel like you have. You don't feel like you are, you know? And that's something to, to get across, uh, to, get, to get over that. On the other side of that, we have the Three of Cups. This is really an abundance of this spiritual feeling. This is a wealth of that spiritual joy, right? Not just the kind of um, the joy and pleasure maybe that we saw here with the nine, because this is pretty far down the tree of life, right? This is basically just uh, a joy that's just kind of in the environment, something that's manifested. You know, it's our pursuit of pleasure and joy and happiness in the external world. So this kind of holiday gathering or party or birthday party or whatever. Uh, but this is closer to the source. This is closer to spirit. This is a real spiritual abundance. And I think that this is um, part of what you're aspiring to. And I think this is what you're working toward, is this real feeling of being uh, connected with spirit, feeling the divinity, feeling the grace and the blessings, right? Um, this is the real connection that we're trying to make with this priestess card to God, goddess, deity, universal mind, universal energy. This is non-denominational here, right? However you experience the divine, the mysterious, the absolute, the universe, whatever you want to call it, however you experience it, um, that's what we're talking about, okay? And I think that really is the ultimate goal of the work is to feel connected, to feel that we're, we're filled with that spirit, you know? And I think you're working towards that. And I think that you are, you're doing the work, you know. Um, I'm curious about this, this mystery card. Um, I wonder maybe two of cups, you know, kind of getting closer to the source. We're kind of finding, um, you know, on the one hand, finding what the underlying message is here for all of this water energy, you know. So we're looking at this the initial water energy, this, uh, we got our feelings hurt somewhere. Someone offended us. We took something personally and made us feel a certain way. What is the underlying basis for that? Is that a feeling of alienation from our souls, from our spirit, from ourselves, from God, goddess, deity? You know, is it that distance that we feel that then is causing us this kind of uh, emotional like anguish or this just this tendency to take everything personally? There's something deeper going on. So I wonder if this is going to be an ace or a two of cups. Um, we're talking a lot about the earth energy as well and the kind of making the progress and learning how to uh, take these situations and create through these situations opportunities for growth, right? This could be a, an ace, maybe a two of discs. I think two though, for sure. Oh, yeah, two of discs. So this really is about then getting closer to the source, finding the root cause, the underlying issues that are going on. Uh, that kind of is more of a two of cups thing. Two of discs though, this is really about taking all of these situations, all of these emotions, all of these instances, all of these events, all of these just, you know, points in time and space, using them for progress, using them as opportunities for growth. Okay, so it's kind of changing the, the lemons into lemonade, you know, finding the, the underlying cause and the underlying purpose, the underlying uh, emotion or desire in all of this, and using how to, uh, how to accept every experience as bringing us a little bit closer to that ultimate union, that two of cups, that ace of cups. You know, that kind of spiritual union that we're looking for via that card. Um, we've got to learn how to accept every, every experience as potentially bringing us closer to that experience, you know, to that kind of union. Um, anyway, Aquarius, uh, I hope this resonated with you. I appreciate you being here and letting me read for you. Um, we're going to do an extended so you can stick around and click on the link that's right here to have access to all the extended readings. Uh, we are still doing private readings, but um, we're changing those a little bit, and those will be filmed uh, every Saturday. So uh, you'll, you can receive your private reading either kind of by Saturday night or Sunday morning. You can receive your, your private reading. Um, 
So just know that whatever day you send me the request for that reading, uh, it's not going to be filmed until the following Saturday. Okay, I'm just going to film all of those on Saturday. It's easier with my schedule. Okay, we're getting a lot of requests and things are getting busier around here. So we're trying to keep everybody, um, you know, trying to keep everybody happy and uh, and give you what you need. Right. So look in the description box if you want more information about the private readings. We are going to do our extended right now. Uh, this was your weekly reading March 5th through 11th on Dove and Serpent Tarot.